Hello and welcome back. The next PCB I'd like to make will fill this gap in the back plane. That's going to contain the memory bridge that's currently on this breadboard. It should fit easily into this space. I also want to include status displays for the main 8-bit buses. I have a video on the design of the memory bridge which I'll link here. To put it simply, the bridge connects memory data to the main bus and determines what direction the data is moving in. This breadboard has become quite messy. I'll be glad to see the back of it, and that will give me some extra space to implement the improvements to the pipeline that I've already discussed. So, let's get on with that then. There are basically two halves to the memory bridge. One that drives the contents of the main bus onto memory data. Okay, so this one is driven by memory bridge direction need to be sure to pull this avat output enable low. Then the second one is the opposite, going from mem data onto the main bus. And this is just the membridge assert line. Right, now that should work. Give us a pretty much functional memory bridge, but got a little bit more space on here, and I'd like to put an LED display for these two buses. Now, I've already got a main bus display on the constant register, but I'm probably gonna remove that because I actually don't want LEDs sat directly on the main bus. I want to drive a set of LEDs via some buffers and I think using a line driver for that is a good way to go. I'm going to do the same on mem data. I really should look into using the 0805 SMD resistor arrays at some point, but all the packages I've seen, they look more suited to reflow of some kind. I don't think I could hand solder them very effectively. Okay, I would like to get some indicators on for these lines. All these times I've driven control lines directly into LEDs, I think I may have, in some of those circumstances, been saving up problems for myself. more like it. Okay, so I'm just using two inverters here to take those control inputs, invert them, which actually makes slightly more logical sense for the display output, so I don't need to do any trickery, but uh, I'm using the inverter output to drive the LEDs, and that way I don't need to worry about the current drain on those affecting the signals elsewhere in the build.
This is slightly annoying. I think all of these would be slightly neater if I reversed the numbers on them. intending to do a big ground fill but I'm having to fill in all these ground wires just to make sure the paths exist. presuming there's some place where I've brought VCC close but not quite made a connection. Hopefully these arrows are fairly self-evident. We add a mem data label down here, but then I think it's good to go. Okay, off for manufacturing, I guess. Okay, so here is where the new PCB is going to go. Now before I finish, I want to have a little bit of a tidy up. Now some of these wires could definitely do with being shorter. This bundle of wires controls which device is asserting to the main bus. This wire is far too long.
Still looks good. I think I want to do the same to this wire here. That's still working. Okay, this wire controls increment from the fetch stage. Now, I'm going to be working on that soon, so I don't want to replace that. I don't want to do a great big session of tidying up the wires. I think what I'd like to do is just uh, clean up a, a few at the end of each session while or I do some work on the build and kind of evolve it towards uh, neatness. Now, I'm very keen to get hold of this PCB, which I hope will be quite soon, because the whole design segment I recorded a while ago and, and ordered. So hopefully that's what you'll be seeing very soon. Hope you found this interesting. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.